Keeping an eye on the tropics as the National Hurricane Center is watching a wave of energy just east of the Yucatan Peninsula. This is drifting north and over a five-day period, they have deemed this wave a 40% chance of tropical formation. So we're going to be watching that. We're going to be seeing more heavy rain develop in the southeast by this upcoming weekend. Of course, uh, the all-important holiday memorial weekend and the unofficial start to summer, and that could bring us maybe some flood potential. We've already had a lot of rain. In fact, from May 12th to May 20th, that 10-day rainfall tally is getting uh, and reaching uh, double-digit tallies from Papano Beach to Juno Beach and looking at some additional heavy rain yesterday. In fact, 1.79 inches of additional rain in Key West. We've had a lot of rain down in Florida. As you can see here, the uh, double-digit tallies uh, not showing up at some of the major airports, but like Orlando, 5.5 inches, 8.5 inches of thereabouts in Miami and now creeping up close to 10 inches in Key West. So things have been very wet. In fact, running major surpluses within these areas and also out near the outer banks of North Carolina. So again, the thunder threat and uh, heavy rain threat is going to be developing. Now the drought update is still in place. You can see the uh, severe threats across southeastern Georgia and uh, this wave of energy again lifting off to the north has a 40 percent chance of tropic formation over a five-day period. So we're going to see more heavy rain start to creep up. This just takes it through Thursday with some one plus inch tallies across the region with temps in the 80s.